Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to Portal 2. I'm like a poet or something, man, I swear. It's like I, I do writing or something as like a side hobby. Anyways, this is not going to be my favorite game ever made. Um, and it's going to show pretty heavily when we get into the game itself. So, normally I do a cold open for a game like this, but I have to get the guts out before I start playing. I'm, like I said, not a huge fan of Portal 2. I think it's not a very strong Portal game or a Valve game. I know you're probably like, wow, man. But having just played it two times back to back in a few days, I just, uh, I don't know. Call me that guy, but I think Portal 2 is a good sequel. It's got good portal design, or sorry, good puzzle design. It's got some funny writing here and there, but the game just doesn't let you absorb anything. It's just so rapid fire and it tries really hard to be way too funny. So normally I do an entire playthrough commentating over everything going on, like you guys are probably used to. Um, if you see my Portal 1 playthrough, go ahead and watch that, not to uh, self-promote my own content or anything here. But, you know, if, if that's something you're familiar with, um, I can't really do that with Portal 2. It's such, it, it's so much dialogue at all times. I'm not going to have any damn time to talk. It's going to be just the game throwing joke after joke after joke after joke after joke after joke after joke. And it just, it tires me out to like play. So I'm going to offer as much of my own commentary as I can because it's, it's a time. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Obviously it's, you know, not a very long game, but... Let's go ahead and get started. You'll see exactly what I mean. Another thing I don't like about Portal 2 is there is so many loading screens. It is uncanny to me how many loading screens are in this game. And it's like Portal 1 had moments where it let you do more than one test chamber after the other, which is weird considering there's not a lot of complexity to these maps. They're actually smaller in scale than in Portal 1, I feel, which is why it's so bleh, but we'll get into it, so you'll see what I mean. You have been in suspension for now let's take a timer of how long it takes me to get the portal going here, okay? All testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness mm -hmm. exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. <sighs> and then... Good. You will yeah. hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. I do like this art style. There's a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. It's like this Bob Ross art. made this. You will hear a buzzer. Happy little buzzer, trees and everything too. Stare at the art. Like you should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Okay, funny, Good. funny. Now, please return to your bed. You see, that's like... This is the problem I have with Portal 2 as I adjust myself in my chair. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9... Nine, nine. This Hello? Anyone in there? Ah. Oh, God, God. You look um, good. And then we get introduced to okay? why I feel Are this game has really bad writing. That. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. But stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. The art's changed. So You're right down there. No. Can you hear me? Hello. Also, why was this not in Portal One? 
That's what I've always wondered. Subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few I do like this suspension. line. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? No. We're not of space. Funny joke. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. I, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Wall funny. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. And now we can actually control the game almost nearly five minutes in. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We yeah, this looks familiar. We are currently technical difficulties due to circumstances of Except potential no coffee cup. It's canon that I broke it. Our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Why can't I pick up the glass? That's something that's always bugged me about this engine. And we see our first portal almost nearly six minutes into the game, which is odd to me. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. And then, this is my other gripe, is as you go down into more loading screens, it forces the dialogue to keep going. That, to me, just... Eh, I don't know. And don't worry, the entire game is not going to be me bashing it. But this is, like, the only time I'm going to have any legitimate, like, time to talk about the game as the loading screen. Because there's so much. Relax. Lie on your back. And apply immediate pressure because it's just going to be annoying with me talking and over the dialogue in the which same damn time. May have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. So at this point in regular portal, I know you weren't doing the like tests at this point either, but it's still just kind of if I don't know. But I do like the deja vu -y sort of feeling of the beginning of Portal One Two. It's really. It's quite charming. I think Portal 2 has its charming moments. Good. Why would the cameras because change, the by the way? Like, they don't look anything like the old cameras. Is unsupervised. Before re -entering a relaxation ball, like, that's always kind of bugged me. Just like the lifts are different. I know this is probably explained somewhere at one point in the game, but I just... When society has been rebuilt. 
I don't know, man. There's there's a lot of things with Portal 2 that makes me feel like it's a bad sequel to Portal. Like, they should have just called this, like, a prequel to Portal 1 and just called it a day. And I'm not saying, like I said, it's not a bad game. It's just currently governed by a manner of it's a lot of stuff. It's just too much all at once. To, it's probably a product of the era. Hey, you made it. And it almost. Oh! Wait a minute. Oops. Almost ten minutes into the game, and we finally get our portal gun. And there's some silly dialogue and stuff. If you're into that sort of stuff, I'm generally not. And you'd think as a speedrunner of games like Quake and things, I'd be very pleased with this kind of gameplay, which you would be right. I really do like a linear game when there's other ways to do puzzles. But it's... I don't know, man. There's something about, like, the puzzles in this game are very satisfying, but there's a lot of concepts that don't get re-explored. I think that's something that I don't like in terms of game design. Please note it on your self-reporting form. You see, I, I know that's why I put these captions up, but it's also because I just feel like I can't commentate over what I'm thinking, but as we get playing in here, we'll start to see more and more of what I'm talking about. And I'm not saying if you like this game, it's bad, because it's like, if you like Diablo 3 versus Diablo 2, I mean, God help you. But, alright, what's the point of this joke? I just want someone to, like, read this. What is the point of this joke? In three, two... One. That was literally just lol random the joke. I know I'm not like the best of humor, but at the same time, I just, there's so many problems with this game's humor, and also the physics don't feel right sometimes, but that's just the because this new source engine stuff I'm any not observations really related on. to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Yeah, it's just, I do like the way Portal 2 feels, it's just, and I know you could argue, oh Seth, just play the Enrichment Center activities and everything, but I'm like, no, that's not the base game. I can come back to Portal 1 because the gameplay has enough puzzle-solving aspects that I enjoy replaying it. Portal 2 has good game feel. I will say that. If there's anything this game excels at, is currently being is with it feels good. Or other objects from space. It's just a very fun game to play, I guess. Lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part but, of the test. Eh, at the same time, that doesn't mean it's the greatest. So... Anywho, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a cube. Now I have that damn jazz song stuck in my- I also think of a lot of, like, the reason I don't like Portal 2. And a lot of it's probably because the time I played it, I guess, was not the greatest. I don't know, that could just be- that could just be me, I guess. But there's definitely, like, the time I played this game when it came out. And I just, I thought it was just average, I guess. Wait a second, I screwed that one up. There's also something about the, oh shit, that had to happen, didn't it? I don't like this kind of mechanic, and it's never used really anywhere else in the game, which is kind of strange. I don't think it's bad, it's just odd. That's the thing I have with Portal 2, is like, there's so many weird, like, one-off gimmicks that just never happen again. <laughs> and... I always feel like I'm playing the game wrong in some points. Like, I probably just botched that 100%. Well, that, the enrichment center reminds you that although certain but you just never use that exact technique again anywhere in the game. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. But, yeah, I still think the beginning of it is just really kind of weak. If I had anything to complain about with Portal 1, the, the game is short. But I think it's short enough to where it's sweet. But Portal 2 is just... This next test applies the principles of momentum. Know. I like this line here. Portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> That's actually a funny line. I just find a lot of Portal 2's humor to be hit or miss. And I mean, I guess technically the, the humor would apply to someone like me who's a millennial, I guess. So it's like, oh lol, they're making dumb jokes about dumb things. And it's funny because potato... I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of the byproduct of the era, 
That's why I think people don't like Borderlands 2 as much if as Borderlands 1. Which I agree. I think Borderlands 2 isn't a bad and game. Remember, it's just the humor is the hit or miss and, and really annoying at times. With you. But that doesn't mean the gameplay is bad. I mean, Borderlands 2 objectively is a better game than Borderlands 1. I mean, there is some aspects I like over Borderlands 2. It's still a good game. It's just, it's... I don't know. There's, there's aspects of Borderlands 1 that just are kind of archaic and not great. Um, loot isn't really that special to me in that game because it's just... I don't know, you can farm, like, chess, obviously, using scummy methods like Nox's armory method and everything, but still, it's, it's just... it's a good game. I like it a lot. I think... I don't know if I have enough experience with um, Borderlands 2 to play it. I have definitely played the hell out of Borderlands 1. But Borderlands 2? Uh, not so much. I never actually finished the main campaign. I had a ton of friends in high school that played it when I uh, first saw it come out, and they were all pretty much in universal agreement that it was pretty good. But, uh, I don't know. You see, this is the problem with, with Portal 2, is the beginning is very weak, I feel where the midsection the is the meat of the game. And then it doesn't come for another, like, hour or so. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find and the portal gun! And here comes oh. a joke. Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Please. I'm so triggered. Okay, listen, let me <laughs> lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me Never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Two, three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. I don't think I've ever oh, caught Wheatley on the first go. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam. Secret panel. Not open. While your back was turned. And off we go. And now we can't throw him either. To tell us where to go. Oh, I'm pushing great. every button on the keyboard. On the Literally all of them. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, I can't even throw him off the rails. Just follow the rail, actually. This oh, whole game no. in a nutshell. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. <sighs> you see, that? that's my biggest problem. I don't think Wheatley's a terrible character. But I think Portal 1 excelled better because of a lack of constant barrage of story building and stuff. It's, it, it feels more like a Half-Life game, I guess. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. Oh, I thought her oh, parts oh. were up on the surface. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who There's a lot of problems with this game, honestly, in terms of story and continuity. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Ah! How, how heteronormative. Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's I can't tremendous. let go. <laughs> ah, I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. Funny joke twice. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, e don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, well, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. Also notice how Wheatley, when he capitalizes God, is only time in this game that it's actually capitalized. 
It's, it's moving up. So edgy. Okay, okay. no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, oh, lol, it makes faster. it go faster. Uh oh. Funny. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, I could easily panicking. just walk uh, over this bush right this. here. Um, I'm just gonna say it. You could just be like, okay, cool, whatever, and then just walk out of here. But there's there's a, things a, that make a, me not. A, a, um, yeah. See, if this was Half Life, I would have just walked out of here and ignored all this. I can't. Wait, did I do beat the job? It's not writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? No. I've been really busy being dead. You know. After you murdered me. Why can't I shoot a portal on this surface? I also can't move. I just want to point that out. Very unvalvy. Okay. How is Wheatley not dead forever after this point? You're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. Just remember that scene. You monster. I will say though that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up. You must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first.